Why do breakups hurt? Maybe like hell, even when you perhaps wanted one. Let's dive into the reasons that might not be immediately obvious, but are deeply ingrained in our psychology and social behaviors. Firstly, breakups shatter identity. This is the first reason they hurt so much. So, when you're in a relationship, your beliefs, your goals, and your values, your personal values, they start to merge with your partners, creating what's called a shared identity. Now, this isn't a sign of a toxic relationship or anything like that, but rather this natural outcome of deeply connecting with someone. And losing this shared identity is what throws you into emotional turmoil, making you feel all empty and hopeless, sometimes even depressed. Now, the way you tackle this loss of meaning, the way you tackle this reason of a breakup hurting, is by just finding other types of meaning to latch onto. Maybe you derive a lot of it, let's say, from your career, from child rearing, from tight family relationships, your social life, whatever. The more sources of meaning you can find and commit to, the quicker you will kind of fill in metaphorically the holes in your shattered identity which will lead to feeling like yourself again. Now, the second reason why breakups hurt is because they cause social exclusion. Now, humans, we are inherently social creatures, and strong relationships are practically essential for our mental and emotional well-beings. Now, breakups, they disrupt this dynamic, leading to increased stress and, as you'd expect, emotional pain. And the way you can combat this reason for a breakup hurting is to simply socialize, to meet new people, to spend more time with friends than usual, to kind of fill in the void left from the breakup, spend more time with your family. It's really that simple. Believe me, try this out, stick with it for a few weeks, you will feel better afterward. As for the third reasons breakups are so painful, it's because of all the shame and guilt that they often bring to the table. So, whether you're the dumper or the dumpy, breakups do make you feel like you failed to live up to your own or to others' expectations. And this can obviously lead to feelings of worthlessness, even depression. Not to mention, of course, shame and guilt. It usually comes in a package. All of these things are usually, all of these feelings are usually very intertwined. Now, the best way to deal with these emotions is through vulnerability. So, open yourself up emotionally when you, let's say, talk to people about your shame and guilt instead of closing off. Face your fears, your insecurities instead of burying them kind of under under the rug, you know, pretending they're not there, pretending you are not actually feeling shame or guilt or any other post-breakup emotion that we're prone to feeling. You also need to be willing to get hurt for the sake of authentic, often even therapeutic expression. So you don't want to be inauthentic in a sense where you withhold what you truly feel about the breakup and how it's actually affecting you. Because it's hiding shame and guilt and just about any other, honestly, post-breakup negative, post-breakup emotion that makes a breakup so painful in the first place. It's this process of suppression that holds people back from healing. Therefore, do the opposite. Expose your shame and guilt counterintuitively. It's this expose that leads to increased self-esteem, improved well-being, and, you've guessed it, less pain. Now, uncertainty also plays a big role in why breakups hurt, and this is probably the most widespread reason why they hurt, and it often leads people to completely sabotage and derail their recovery because it gets them to obsessively ponder these really dumb, limiting questions, these really sabotaging-like questions Like, for example, was I not good enough for my ex? Uh, Why couldn't my ex just be different? Were we 
really incompatible or did I just really suck as a partner? Was I a horrible boyfriend slash girlfriend? Stuff like that. Now, the more you ask yourself these things, the deeper you will settle in uncertainty as well. Uncertainty about yourself, your relationships, and so it, this will only lead to more anxiety and confusion. The solution? Learning to be okay with uncertainty. Because look, uncertainty, it's never going away. Certainty by itself is an illusion. Almost nothing in life is certain in fact. Therefore, the best way to tackle the issue is to just get good at feeling bad. Basically, the more you will avoid negative emotions, the theory goes, the more those emotions will paradoxically screw you over, kind of similar to what we talked about when it comes to shame and guilt. To give a few more examples, ignoring the fact that you're grieving will only make you more miserable, ignoring the fact that you're angry will just make you explode at some later point, get more pissed off. Ignoring the fact that you're uncomfortable will only make you more uncomfortable. So, the point here, turn toward your emotions, not away from them. Turn toward uncertainty and try to accept it. Instead of just running away from it, you know, trying to get certainty. Now, as for the last reason, breakups hurt is because they cause actual physical pain. And no, I'm, I'm actually serious. Studies have shown that the same areas of the brain activated by physical pain are also activated by the emotional pain of a breakup. And then another set of studies found that our brain releases natural painkillers, the same painkillers released amid physical pain when we are faced with any sort of rejection. So this includes heartbreak type rejection. And then another set of studies explained the profound connection between the uh, physical and the emotional pain of breakups within our expressions. So for instance, let's say you spill yourself with boiling hot coffee. Like how do most people describe that scenario, that fuck up? Well, they often say it hurt like hell or something like that. Interestingly, when we're heartbroken, we often say the same things about our breakup. We describe physical pain, therefore, similarly or pretty much the same way as emotional pain and vice versa. So there is indeed, I think, some connection here. The problem, however, is that there really is no specific way to cope with this cause for breakup pain. There is no like particular solution you should adhere to. Instead, it mostly boils down to the things I keep harping on about in pretty much all my videos and my blog, meditation, journaling, therapy, and so on. So there you have it. If you'd like to go deeper into my process of recovering from a breakup, download my recovery cheat sheet, link below this video. So with that being said, I wish you all the best and take care.